and I want to bring in for more on this, saying on this topic, the Wall Street Journal's chief economic correspondent, John Hilsenrath. John, you know, it's interesting because a lot of this goes back certainly to the pressure uh, of the issue with North Korea. And, and China seems right. over and over to not be interested in, in helping at least the U.S. with North Korea. Can this strategy from the Trump administration change that dialogue? Well, I mean, it seems to be the direction the Trump administration is going in. Let's re remember that President Xi from China came and spent time uh, with President Trump earlier this year. They spent time together in Mar-a-Lago. The president seemed to be counting on China to help uh, with the North Korea problem and backed off of his threats on trade and currency. And the Chinese haven't delivered. And the president is uh, showing he's increasingly impatient with the, the Chinese willingness to help on North Korea and he's turning back to the trade issue. You know, we've been talking about the theft of intellectual property for I mean, decades, frankly, when it comes to the Chinese. Um, right. they, have, they have built yeah. an entire manufacturing sector on the backs of our intellectual property. Do you think that this, this new round of, of potential economic sanctions from the Trump administration would make a difference? Well, uh, it, it could make a big difference on a number of, uh, a number of fronts. One is it could have a big impact really on international trade relations because what the Trump administration is talking about doing here is using a law from 1974 called Section 301 where the United States would unilaterally impose sanctions uh, against China, in this case on uh, issues relating to intellectual property. Since the mid-90s, these were issues that were handled in the World Trade Organization, the WTO. And what the Trump administration is saying, we might not even go through the WTO. We might just do this unilaterally. And that could completely change the way world trade uh, relations are, are managed. The Chinese hold a lot of U.S. debt. Do you think that they would start to right. sell off that debt in retaliation? Uh, frankly, no, they can't. You know, there, there, there's a saying that... Uh, if your bank loans you $100, then you're on the hook with the bank. If the bank loans you a trillion dollars, then the bank is on the hook to you. You know, if the Chinese, uh, if the Chinese give up all, if they start selling all these treasury bonds, it causes a lot of problems for them. Most importantly, it causes their currency to appreciate, and that hurts their position as a global exporter. So they're really in no position to start dumping a lot of treasury bonds. It's, yeah. it's, it's an empty threat. It, and it's a very intricate and very complex relationship that we have with the Chinese and their economy, more importantly, John. Uh, John Hilsenrath, it's great to see you, John. Thank you. Great to be here.